Welcome back to the channel of Team Donut 884. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Accelerator boot on both Baggage and Tarmac on Dark Hours. First, we are going to explore the Solo Accelerator, which is done by one man through the whole compound of Tarmac in subgroup 2. Next is the Double Accelerator, which is two people doing the Accelerating in subgroup 1 and subgroup 2. The last one is Baggage Accelerator. In this video, we're going to explore different types of Accelerating, so please stay tuned and watch till the end. Sai so uses 3 piece Empress, 1 Wyvern, one fox sprayer and one contractor's gloves, all rolled with skill tier and skill damage. For the mods, we use skill duration, and for the backpack, we use tech support and glass cannon on the chest piece. If you happen to not have a foxes and contractor's glove with skill damage and skill tier, you can always use a regular drone build and switch the skills to oxidizer with a stinger hive or artificial hive. But those two pieces will be absolutely helpful in this version of Oxy. For the solo stinger oxidizer, after the healer overcharges when you get up your whoops, you want to shoot 3 Oxidizer to the top right spawn. Following up with another 2 Oxidizer on the left at spawn behind the truck. You want to have a sweet dreams on you in case you encounter any purple or red ads. Then you want to shoot another 2 Oxidizer on the top right spawn. And then here and now you're going to take cover in the front. In the case that the ads spawn late like on this clip, don't be afraid to shoot additional oxidizers to the at spawn point because it is better to kill that wave of ads rather than saving your oxidizer for the end. Sai here uses an instinct shotgun to agree an extra damage and after that wave of ads is killed he throws a sting hive and get ready for the dark space. From here on out you don't have to worry about the top right at all because the sting hive will kill everything that spawned on the top right. Unless of course at some situations um, the dog will jump over the black wall on the right side and in that case you want to call out and have a DPS player help you out on the top right. Or you can use the technician specialization and bombard the dog. After all ads are dead, you want to throw in a Costa go back and overcharge yourself. This will speed up the return time of the sting hive. So here's the build that I use for the solo artificial oxidizer, basically the same thing as the solo stinger oxidizer build but with the artificial hive and the technician specialization. For the solo artificial version, when you get up the ropes and the healer overcharges, you're gonna shoot two oxys on the top right, two oxys on the left side, and unlike the stinger version, you're gonna shoot another one oxy on the top right where the Sting Hive shoots two Oxys. After that, you're gonna shoot one Oxy on the left side. In this clip, I decided to shoot another Oxy to the left side because I have extra Oxys. But generally, after you shoot the last uh, additional one Oxy to the left, you want to spend all of your Oxys on the right so that you have enough for the dogs. Since we do not have Sting Hive in this version, we're just gonna run and try not to kill yourself because that will halt everybody else and they need to wait for you to spawn so that they can fast travel. For the double oxidizer version, we're gonna shift our focus to the left side of the Oxy because the right side is basically the same as the solo version of an Oxy, but you just don't shoot any Oxys at all to the left side and it can also be more wasteful of your Oxys if needed. Now, shifting to the left side, uh, I want you to pay attention to when Sai throws the Stinger Hive right? and notice that he throws that Stinger Hive when the Chunga's armor is broken or when he's already out in the open and easy for killing. If you throw the Stinger Hive any sooner, uh, the Chunga will basically absorb all those charges and you will not have enough for the snipers or the purples or any other assets spawning after the Chunga. Now after all ads are dead in the left at spawn, you're gonna throw in a Costa go back and you're gonna throw your grenade to hasten the return charge of the hive. And if you have additional axes, you can also shoot it at the helicopter, but make sure you wanna have at least two by the encounter ends, so that you do not have to kill yourself to change your build. There's a lot of way to do tarmac and baggage oxidizer. But for baggage, I think 
the most suitable version and LFGs and also the best one includes this version with the Acasta go back and the Stinger Hive because once the Stinger Hive is overcharged it's going to cover the whole area of the rope ads and it can also kill the dogs on the back door and in LFGs where not a lot of people usually know where to go like whether the front or stay in the back I think this will be very flexible on how people can use it. If you happen to spawn early or ahead of your teammates during baggage, you can start shooting oxidizers at the stairs to help out with killing the ads. But if you happen to spawn late, you might want to start throwing your stinger hive onto the ceiling of baggage and start shooting oxidizers to the back door. You can throw the Acosta go back overcharge and when the dogs come out or a little bit early like what Sai did. But generally, after all the ads on the back are dead, including the second ad spawn, and all the roof ads are cleared, you might want to kill yourself in, uh, as fast as you can so that you can switch your build after wasting all of your oxidizers. Serious trauma detected. Agent down. Agent <laughs> deceased. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. I hope you guys learned a lot of things from this. And if you still have suggestions or questions, put them down in the comments below. Also, I want to give credit to the people who made these strategies. It is incredible that they are able to utilize the full potential of the Oxy build. And don't forget to visit my Twitch channel. On every weekend, I will definitely stream. And on 8.30 p.m. on Saturday and Friday, I'm going to be streaming live on my speed video with the PRD, which, is, which also have a Discord on the right side of this background. Now, the middle Discord is basically um, a Dark Hours resource Discord. It's basically a Discord filled with um, the knowledge that I gathered through my life in the division. So visit those um, three links and I hope you guys have a great day and please stay tuned for my next video.